Hello, everybody. Happy week, like, four-ish. I'm going to stop numbering the weeks, because if you're like me, you're having a hard time remembering what number it is, so I'm just going to write the dates. But, happy new week. Hmm? Oh, this whole thing. I know it does look very nice, doesn't it? Thank you. It has a, a tail. Awesome. Happy April. Mid-late April. We're here. It's getting beautiful out. It's very um, spring-like, so I hope, even though we're all being safe and mostly staying home, I hope you're also finding some time to get outside and go on a walk, um, enjoy some sunshine and nice weather. Today's video is going to be really short compared to some of our others because uh, this week is really similar to last week. We don't have any new type of assignment. All the assignments are things you've done before. So all I'm going to do in this video is talk about some of the things that people have either been asking a lot of questions about or having trouble with, just to make sure we're all on the same page moving forward. And there is another extra credit question, so listen carefully. Remember that you just need to send me your answer. It could be in a text message, a message on the website, an email, anything you like, and you'll get an automatic five extra credit points. Easy. All right, let's hop to it. Do you get it? It's because I, it's because it's a, a rabbit. Okay. Okay, so I'm going to start today with a quick tip on how to navigate Google Classroom, because I think some students are still a little confused about how to use the website, which is fair. So there's this option in Google Classroom with to do, and I think a lot of you are using that, and it's not a bad option. It basically lists all the assignments that your teachers have posted in every class. However, I do not recommend you start there because it doesn't make it clear what order those things go in. It also doesn't make it clear if there were instructions you needed to read beforehand or if there are other materials. So use it if it's a helpful tool to you when you're trying to remember all the things that you've completed in a week, but don't start there. Start with your class. So remember, stream is not where we start. We start at classwork. And in classwork, there is this category weekly calendars. All your teachers should have that. It's the week at a glance. And that's going to be the most helpful place for you to start. It tells you where to begin. It tells you due dates. It tells you where you can get directions and other materials you need. Okay, so if you look at ours, this is the exact same as last week as far as what you have to do. The first thing is watch this video. Good job. The second thing, continue listening to your audiobook and reading your library book. So most of you successfully checked out a library book last week, so you should be starting that. Those are things that you're only going to track with the end of the week reading and listening tracker. Then we have our optional office hours. We have the reading of the book we're doing together. So the 57 bus is the book. Now I'm always recording me reading it so you can listen, but remember that the book itself is linked on our website, on our class page. So if I go back here under classwork and scroll down, class materials, okay? The 57 bus, this is where I can read it. It's a PDF. If you have trouble accessing that, let me know. Not all the assignments are linked. And that's because I'm using the same calendar for many different classes, but you all have different assignments based on the section you're in. So this one says you need to answer the assignment three question, right? Great, that means assignment three, where can I find assignments again? Oh, I know, it's here in the category that says assignments. Very good, so assignment three. Here's the video, remember, this is not mandatory, but if you would like to listen to me read it while you read along, you can. Otherwise, you just have to read it yourself. And then finally, the piece that I'm grading is this written question that you will need to respond to. This is the piece I've still seen the fewest students completing on time, so I think there might still be a little bit of confusion about due dates. Remember that assignments always have a due date, okay? So this is due on April 24th, which is Friday at 11.59 p.m. I recommend you don't start doing it that night because if you need help and you text me, I will not respond because... I still go to bed really early, guys. And then if we look back here on Friday, 
every Friday, this assignment's going to be the same too. Fill out the reading and listening tracker. This is like the little trackers you showed me. This is always due on Mondays, okay? So you should be doing that every week, just telling me how much you're listening and reading. I have added too, so don't forget, a little category at the bottom of the calendar that tells you which assignments are due that specific day. Right, the calendar is kind of telling you, here's this week's assignment, and here's when it's due. This part is telling you maybe last week's assignment, right, that one was due on Monday, or this new assignment from Wednesday is now due on Friday. Okay, so if you're not sure about due dates, you can check there as well. Finally, please remember that I do have office hours every week, and there's been a few students who've been asking me for help, and it seems like are still struggling with a lot of basic functionality of the website. If you come to my office hours on Tuesdays, that's going to help you a lot. So every Tuesday, 1 to 1.30 p.m. Or if that time doesn't work for you, message me and we'll figure out a different time. One more tip. You had an assignment this past week to get an e-library card and choose a book and then take a photo. Most people did this, but a few people maybe took a photo of the wrong thing, like they just took a photo of the library website, or I think they thought they attached a photo and they did not. I made a video last week that shows how to attach a file or a photo from both the computer and your phone. So if you saw that you did not successfully turn this in, please check last week's video for instructions on how to do that. If you're still confused about how to do that, you can send me a message and we'll work out a time. Hopefully office hours or another time where I'll show you what to do. It is time for the extra credit question. This week's extra credit question is, what is your favorite animal? Please send me your answer. It could be a text message or an email or a private comment on our class page. Just tell me a single word answer is fine. What is your favorite animal? And if you do so, you'll get five extra credit points. It's that easy. Remember, if you did turn something in late or forget about something, just do it, okay? You're gonna get points. Do the work, ask me for help. We know that this is stressful and that you're figuring out online learning. So we're gonna give you a lot of grace right now and we just wanna help you get your work done. So that's it. That's this week. Just remember to ask for help if you need it. Ask for more time if you need it. Communication is really important right now. So if you're struggling, you need extra help right now, let us know. We're going to get you through it. I hope you are finding some headwear you forgot you owned to enjoy these days, playing video games, watching some good shows on Netflix. I miss you. I wish we were all together at school. I hope you're healthy. I hope you're safe. I hope you're happy. And I'll see you next week on the internet.